Yeah, so number one, don't make the video auto. If you make it auto play, what you're doing is you're drawing all of your visual attention to it. And that means it better be really powerful or else it's, it's going to, because it's going to override everything else. It's okay to have one, but think about what you're putting before it. And then also if you put it too low and you need that video, because there's some things that you can only communicate well in video, because I optimize VSLs all the time, run a, you know, probably 100, 200, some probably 200, some tests on VSLs to date. Um, so when I look at this page, if the, the video was moving, so that's the first thing I look at, guess what? I'm going to look at it and all I see is a guy going here and then I see a side view of the guy talking. I'm like, and I see his name and I'm like, I don't know this guy. Or maybe maybe it's a warm, maybe this is a homepage. Maybe they kind of know him, but it's like, what's interesting? I've already prematurely judged it, even though I'm not supposed to necessarily do that. Our brains do that in order to survive big problem. So let's just say I stopped the motion. Okay. I look at the headline. Number one, um, that purple is extremely hard to read on that black. And so the brain is, is, it's resisting wanting to read that. It may not produce a symptom in an average viewer, but it will impact what they absorb. 